Welcome to this video. Austronesians are genetically related to Native Americans. Genetic evidence for two founding populations of the Americas, ResearchGate. Indigenous peoples in South America and Australia linked. Native South Americans were early inhabitants of Polynesia. DNA analysis of Polynesians and Native South Americans has revealed an ancient genetic signature that resolves a long-running debate over Polynesian origins and early contacts between the two populations. Nature, 2020. Even the title of this article and that of other articles make it obvious that the YDNA C Austronesians are descendants of the YDNA Q Native Americans. This is one more indication that the YDNA Q Native Americans were ancestors of the important part of humans. Because Austronesians carry the Y-DNA haplogroup C, which by itself is a further ancestor of all haplogroups except the ancestor haplogroup which is the American Q. Scientifically spoken this was already obvious. 1. Because the fundamentals already told us a long time ago that native South American DNA Q is the ancestor of all humans, and that obviously includes Y-DNA C. 2. Because the fundamentals already told us that next to the haplogroup of the ancestor, C comes as the next significant haplogroup. Order, ancestor first, then C, D, E, etc. Further the ancestor of all humans carries Y-DNA Q and initially could have migrated also to the west and or to the east. If the ancestor had migrated first or dominantly to the west, this would have resulted in descendants with C, D, E etc., which is in line with the order initially proposed by scientists and accepted and verified by consensus a long time ago. Order, ancestor first, then C, D, E, etc. Migration to the east would have resulted in descendants of E, D, C etc., which is the paradigmal opposite of the chronological order, gentical order and the order initially proposed by scientists and accepted and verified by consensus since then. So, as a significant direction, migration to the east is discarded, and migration to the west is correct. Adding the ancestor Q, this turns into Q, C, D, and E. Other haplogroups important in modern humans come long after the initial C, D, and E, and we do not consider them for now. Presented C, D, and E. 2. Because no other haplogroup than C is located on the for the descendants significant west side of the Native American Y-DNA Q. Further, the Pacific Ocean spans about half of the circumference of the planet, and it only appears even more west than the Pacific Ocean that the next haplogroup appears. Further, some of the strongest currents and winds of the world carry and force any kind of navigator firmly to the west. Even with modern technology, sailing boats, rowing boats and hybrid boats could not and still cannot make it safely against these currents and winds. This while even primitive rafts or even floating objects without sails, paddles, rudder, keel and navigator will make it to Austronesia and to Australia. In fact it would be near to impossible, even for any kind of totally passive navigator, departing from the Americas or Oceania, not to hit an island or land in or immediately around the Austronesian expansion area that is dominated by sea. Further any island or land reached at the time would be dominated by sea or still its ancestor Q itself. This was especially so during ice ages, which was certainly the case. For example Japan would still not have an important portion of D, as it is now the case, but it would still have been dominated by C, or rather Q, the ancestor of C that possibly only then starts to disperse into the Austronesian expansion area and most probably simultaneously to Japan, because they both received C through the same Pacific current, with C most probably coming from the west coasts of the Americas, simply because the root of C is in the Americas. DNA explained, genetic genealogy. Discovering your ancestors, one gene at a time. 4. There is no C east to Q. Intermezzo 1. There is also no C immediately east of Africa. The nearest significant C would be Australia, and that is located roughly 8,000 kilometers east of Africa. For navigators departing from Africa to the east to reach Australia that trip would be also long, unfavorable and near impossible, because almost exclusively against the currents and winds. Intermezzo 2. All historic circumnavigation routes are to the west and follow currents and winds, especially the Pacific routes. Voyage of the Beagle, Wikipedia. Thank you for watching. Bye. Source of the figures etc. Haplogroup Q, YDNA, Wikimedia. Haplogroup C1A, YDNA, Wikipedia. Haplogroup D, YDNA, Wikipedia. Haplogroup E, YDNA, Wikimedia. Haplogroup DE, YDNA, Wikipedia.
Austronesia with Hypothetical Greatest Expansion Extent, Blench, 2009, Wikimedia. World Map of YDNA Haplogroups, Wikipedia. OC, Major Rivers with Tributaries in the Tibetan Plateau, Reddit. Exploiting Shangri La, Assessing the Tibetan Plateau's Natural Resources and the Work of Carl Witt Fogel, ResearchGate. The Radial Expansion of the Diego Blood Group System Polymorphisms in Asia, Mark of Co-Migration with the Mongol Conquests, Nature, 2018. Haplogroup Q, YDNA, Wikimedia. Genetic Evidence for Two Founding Populations of the Americas, ResearchGate. Indigenous Peoples in South America and Australia Linked. Pontus Skoglund, Harvard Medical School, Nature. Haplogroup MS, Wikimedia. End.